Everybody, happy Sunday to y'all. I hope you're safe and I hope you're indoors. And if you're in Southern California, you're not outside in that uh, horrific rain. While I'm recording this, we're, uh, we're kind of trying to work ahead of the storm here. Uh, we have suddenly, the, the gods of rain have decided we're going to get uh, about a 10 year supply in a couple of days. And it's moist. Let me just tell you right now, it is moist. All right. So today I want to talk about something and I'll make it short. I'll make it short because I know I can be long winded, but I'm going to make this one short. Talk about something that will take your soloing up. I mean, up to the top, up to the top of the stack. It will really be that good for your solos if you just do this thing. And I'm going to guess that it's probably the hardest thing that you will ever do. OK, but first, let's talk about those Zoom lessons. I'm still offering them at at a pretty healthy discount to those of you who are in, among members of my YouTube family here. And thank you all so much for those of you who have, uh, have come along for the ride and signed up for a YouTube session. More information at davegoodsax at gmail.com. davegoodsax, all one word, at gmail.com. Use your February discount code DGM-2. Easy to remember, right? DGM-2. More info for your 60-minute Zoom session at davegoodsax at gmail. Right now, here's what there's something that I have have noticed, and we've all done this. We've all been there, right? Especially if you're a beginning improviser, if you're a beginning soloist, then it doesn't matter what kind of music you play, whether it's jazz or blues or funk or soul or rhythm and blues or any of that business. Beginning improvisers will often do this one thing, and man, it, it really it really can stand out. Uh, and, and, and I'm, I'm going to tell you what it is. We fill up all the space, right? I mean, from beginning to end, whatever you got, whatever you're allotted for your solo. Quite often, the, be the beginning improviser will fill the entire space up with uh, your blue scales or your scales, or your arpeggios or whatever, whatever stuff you've been working on out of whatever books you're working on or whatever you're doing with your teacher. We tend to put all that together and just ramrod the whole thing through. I don't know if it's out of fear. I don't know if it's out of, you know, maybe stage fright. Maybe it's out of not knowing quite what to do. But I'm going to tell you how to fix that, right? And like I said, it's going to be like the, about the hardest thing you'll ever do. And that is to, to not play. <laughs> I know you're going, Dave, what? What? <laughs> this is about, this is a sax lesson about not playing? Yeah, this is about not playing. And I'll show you what I mean in a second here. Um, and again, I want to go back and just with, with this explanation of the, the, it, the beginning improviser does not necessarily mean you just started out. You can be a beginning improviser for a very long time, right? You can be, it doesn't mean that you're in, uh, you know, middle school or that you're a graduate of college or what, you know, a beginning improviser can have been, can, can have been improvising for a very long time and still stay at that beginning level. This one thing will separate you. It will launch you. And there's a, you know, it's a great place you can listen to the contrast, all right? John Coltrane on Kind of Blue and Miles Davis on Kind of Blue, okay? So you listen to, um, how about So What, the very first track, all right? Get past, just get past that incredible piano intro. Oh, my God. That is just off the charts beautiful, all right? Miles' solo is full of space. John Coltrane steps up and starts blasting away. And I mean blasting away. And he plays... Apparently, in, in his lifetime with that band, so long on the bandstand that they complained to Miles. And Miles went to him and said, man, you're playing, you're playing too much, too long. And, and allegedly, Mr. Coltrane said, I don't know how to stop. Miles' answer was, take the horn out of your mouth. Point well made, okay? So listen to the two of them. I'm not saying one is right and I'm not saying one is wrong. I am just, I am saying this is my thesis today. Don't fill up the space with every single note you know, all right? Stop, don't play. I'll show you how to do that. It's not hard and it is hard. It's both not hard and hard at the same time. It's a technique that nobody teaches. We teach you all this stuff to play and you jump up there and and maybe just jizz out a little bit and go, oh my God, I go, oh my God, what do I do? I go, ha. Ah. And I think a lot of times in the beginning, what we're doing is we're looking for the, you know, the, the <laughs> to be at the anointment. Like, you know, I'm going to play notes till I hear stuff I like, and maybe it'll be really good. Maybe that's part of it too. 
I don't know. I, I've been there. I've done that. I'm, I'm in that same that same happy trip house as you. We all do that. Everybody does that. Now, I'm not talking about accomplished bebop players or jazz players who play at lightning speed and fill up space and, and shred and rip and all that stuff. I'm talking about creating a solo that will be memorable to your audience, that's melodic, that has space in it. And in that space, do you know what you're going to be doing? You're going to be listening to the band. Yeah, you're going to let the band breathe for a little bit, and they're going to react to you. That's why we call soloing, playing music, a conversation. I'm going to play a little bit. Right? There you go. That's an idea. Now, I sang the part of the band because I don't know how to mix music in with these YouTube. This is a very DIY, homemade kind of thing here. If you were here for a lesson, we could do it, but I know how to do it in the YouTube channel, so forgive me. My singing voice, I know, really sucks, but that's it. You just stop. Play a line. Play something beautiful and melodic that you thought up in your head. Remember last week, we talked about you singing something and finding it on your head? Ba ba da ba da ba. There you go. Ba ba da ba ba da ba ba. Ba ba da ba ba. That was close, but that gives you the idea, all right? Again, I sang the band parts. I sang the, uh, the, I sang the melodic movement of this beautiful song that we have created, all right? So don't play. Stop, right? Play a line. Stop. Let the band listen to them. Come back in. Play a little bit more. Let the band talk back to you. Listen. Come back in again. Play a little bit more. Now, this obviously was an over-exaggerated example of what to do, but sometimes over-exaggerating is the best teacher. Got any questions? Reach out to me. Comments below or send me a little email. DaveGoodSax at gmail.com. And don't forget your discount code for February for Zoomers is DGM-2. All right, I hope this helps. And if it does, hit that love button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, do subscribe. Apparently this helps uh, the YouTube, the YouTube powers that be say that uh, this helps me to help you by growing the channel. It gets bigger and, and new doors open. Lord knows what they will be, but we'll be there when they do, right? Okay. So if you're here in Southern California, stay dry, stay safe. Don't drive unless you have to. If you're in the rest of the nation that is uh, blanketed by snow, dress warm. I hope you're all well, and I'll catch you again next time. Do good work, stay in touch, be kind to each other. Take care.